is the way that an individual prefers to receive information, to use information, or to process information. And every person has a slightly different profile. It influences how we learn, it influences how we work, it influences how we interact with other people. Good. Is it possible to guess the perceptual styles of people around us? With people that we're close to, yes. Um, for example, I look at my parents or at my brothers and sisters, and I can guess what their perceptual styles are by the way they study, um, by what they do when they need to remember something. I also notice that with my friends and with my co-teachers. What makes a learning style better than others? I don't think it's a matter of being good or bad. <clears throat> I think every learning style is equally valid and equally good. Um, some learning preferences, some perceptual styles are maybe easier for a certain situation. For example, listening to a lecture, an auditory learner will do well. But, for example, <clears throat> learning a sequence of dance steps will be much easier for a kinesthetic learner. So I think it's a matter of the context and which is best for the context, not which is generally best. Good. Well, in the teaching learning process, we often hear of strategies. Are there any learning style strategies? <clears throat> of course. So I said just a minute ago that certain perceptual styles will do best, or individuals with certain perceptual styles will do best in a certain context. That's true. But I think learners, for example, who are not auditory can develop strategies to do well, to understand the lecture. For example, <clears throat> I'm a visual, nonverbal learner. And when I go to a lecture, I take a highlighting pen and I make notes and I use pictures and I use a graphic organizer. And that helps me get more from a lecture than I would otherwise. <clears throat> uh, someone who's a kinesthetic learner, when they read a textbook, might like to walk back and forth, or might like to jiggle their leg. And that can also help them learn. There are many strategies. Those are just a few examples. So I think understanding is really the first step, but it's not enough. Understanding and being able to compensate for things that are not in my favorite style will help me learn much more efficiently. Or if I'm a teacher, having strategies to compensate for students who have a different style than what I'm doing at the moment is also important. I guess when I talk about my impressions of Algerian teachers, I compare them to the place where I was teaching before, a country called Kyrgyzstan. Teachers here <clears throat> have a very high language level. Their English is generally quite good. I think also most of the teachers here are very interested in new ideas. At the same time, I would say <clears throat> many of the teachers are frustrated. They're frustrated because they have large classes. They're frustrated because they're working with a new curriculum and a new textbook, and they're not quite sure what to do. So I think, on one hand, the enthusiasm and a high level of ability but on the other hand, a lot of frustration.